One of the most important things I think that you need to make sure when you call your uh, spa, or in my case, a wellness center at our local hospital, that you make sure that you are being honest and not shy about admitting that you have cancer and that you need an oncology trained therapist, both for massage as well as your facials. Now, I wanna say this because there are a lot of massage therapists there that are doing continuing education because they have found there is a humongous need for oncology trained therapists, whether in a hospital setting or in a luxurious day spa somewhere. It is so important and they are now advancing into this field because it is a growing field and it is so highly needed that they're finding that this is important. But I also want to say that I have had and met some RNs who have also had experience with oncology massage, whether they had cancer themselves and then they you know, went and saw an oncology massage therapist or esthetician for their facials and they have gone into oncology massage. They have literally switched there. And I think I've met maybe three that were RNs or are RNs, registered nurses, that have found this so healing that they have switched their focus now to strictly oncology massage. So don't be shy. Always admit straight up, first thing on the phone, you know, I have cancer. This is the type of cancer I have and they will match you with the right oncology massage therapist that will fit your needs. And when you go in, you make sure that they're asking you these intake questions, because if they're not, there could very easily have been a switch up in the booking. So make sure you double check that, because that will be your red flag, that maybe there was a little mistake or that they're not actually trained oncology massage therapists or estheticians. And that is different if you want to go for your oncology facial or your body, whatever is bothering you. I have a friend that had, um, I believe it was multiple myeloma, and it was very sad because they had to remove her eye and they had to take almost half of her face. Cancer's not pretty. Cancer is painful. Cancer teaches you patience. And I have told my husband this many times. I learned two Ps, patience, and pain and you're going to do anything you can do to alleviate that pain and you just got to work on the patient's part but you know the massage oncology facial for her was what saved her the rest of her body you know she went and had the same things her chemo caused her skin to slip and all that but because it was in her face and she had scars and this whole side of her face and her jaw had to be removed. It was very sad. But that's what got her through. And her skin today looks amazing. I mean, I can't make medical claims, but I'm here to tell you. It's, it's amazing what the oncology massage and facials did for her as far as her scarring on her face. Um, it, you know, I can't say enough good things about it. You have to do it for yourself. Like I said, it's not a luxury. It is a necessity. It is part of your wellness package. You've got to do it.